Ask anyone what animal on our planet bears the proud title of king of beasts, and each of them will answer that it is a lion. It's this big cat from the panther family that occupies such a high post. But why exactly is the lion the king of beasts? And what is their so-called pride? Have a good life, neighbors, with you the paranoid roof. You will have answer to these questions in a matter of minutes. Are you interested? Then let's go. Many people wonder why the lion is the king of beasts and not the tiger. After all, the tiger is larger than the lion, but it's not the holder of this honorable title. Although the tiger is slightly larger than the lion in size, it's the lion that is at the top of food chain throughout the animal kingdom. That's why the lion is the king of beasts and the tiger is not. Both of these two representatives of the big cats are in internal rivalry, they are often contrasted and compared to each other. Lions dominate among the other field lions. The lion is the king of beasts, because it's one of the most social predators with a pronounced hierarchy, such a level of society can boast only wolves. And because this ancient animal occupies an important place in human culture, lions are often depicted on coats of arms and flags. It's also known a lot of movies about lions. These animals are reflected in literature, painting, architecture, and sculpture. A huge number of ancient drawings depicting a lion belong to the cave and rock art. Various mythological creatures are also known to reflect this majestic animal. For example, the griffin, the chimera, the manticore, and the sphinx. In African mythology, the lion is a symbol of supreme strength, power and mind. In Europe, the lion is traditionally the embodiment of the power of sun and fire. The image of the lion is also often associated with valor, justice, dignity and triumph. The image of the lion has long been the personification of strange majesty, pride, nobility and courage. After all, the lion is the king of beasts. Why is a pack of lions called the pride in the first place? It's a quirk of language. In English, many animal groups are named based on some virtue or vice or other idea associated with the animal. Lions were traditionally seen as regal and elevated, so their group is called a pride. The core of the pride is made up of 2 to 18 lionesses, usually close relatives with their own territory. A lioness always inherits her mother's territory. The lionesses of the pride don't establish hierarchical relations among themselves at all. Together with them live several lions, among which one is the dominant. He is not always the strongest, but the other lions recognize and don't challenge his supremacy. He is the first to eat after a successful hunt, the first to mate with females during heat, the first to attack an enemy lion that has invaded the territory of the pride. There can be up to 40 animals in a pride, but the average number is about 13. Young lions growing up begin to claim superiority and are driven out of the pride at the age of 2.5 years. Subsequently, they either create their own pride or live alone or in a small groups. Up to 7 lions, usually brothers, without females 4 to 3 years. It's easier for such a group to capture a pride than for a lone lion and easier to defend the pride afterwards. If a pair of males usually keeps the pride within 2.5 years, a coalition of 3 to 4 males more than 3 years. Young single lions are not burdened with feeding cubs and caring for territory, so they are better fed and sooner or later conquer a territory, which hosts one or even several prides of lionesses. The first thing a male does after taking over a pride is to kill all the lion cubs. The lionesses are usually unable to stop them, and only lion cubs over a year old have a chance to escape. A lioness who has lost her cubs will start heat in 2-3 to three weeks and will soon give birth to a new leader. This infanticide, killing of cubs, is a necessity, as otherwise the new leader would have to wait at least 2 years for his own offspring. And with the leader usually changing every 2-4 years, he wouldn't have time to raise his own cups. 
pride gives lions advantages related to hunting. As a group, the chance of a successful attack increases, and it becomes possible to hunt larger and stronger animals, such as adult buffalo. It becomes possible to protect an under-eaten corpse from spotted hyenas and scavengers. However, there is still less food for the lions than if it were hunting alone, as it only gets a small portion of the prey. The reason for the formation of a pride may be the need for cooperation in raising lion cubs. Lionesses give birth at almost the same time, which allows them to work together to feed and protect all cubs. In addition, a large pride is able to resist territorial claims of other lionesses, can take over their territory and kill lionesses of neighboring prides. But apparently, the main task of the pride is the joint protection of cubs from roaming lions and from lions that have taken over the pride. Joint defense, at least, allows to protect the grown-up lion cubs. And that is all. Remember, we are not responsible for any paranoia caused by our paranoid roof. With the word the paranoid roof, see you soon, neighbors.